So I've got like one hour before sunset happens and I have got something fun to do. So how about you guys come with me? Bye. I'm gonna go kayak. That's not going anywhere. Okay, before I go, since I always use boots for my big old clod hoppers for work, I'm gonna take these nice looking Carolina ropers off and stick on a light little crocs just in case I go for a swim I will stay afloat because I don't want to sink with these boots on that would not be good so I'm rushing rushing the sunset but I think we'll get some good views okay actually I'm gonna put them in full wheel drive okay ready to go let's go okay I'm headed to a lake that's only like uh, 15 minutes from me, so I should have a good 40 minutes or so of sunlight left. Get this diesel cranked up and warmed up a bit here. And so uh, we'll just kind of drop our kayak in and pedal around and enjoy the sunset, shall we? We've made it. Put my life jacket on just for fun. And then uh, get my paddle. Stick it together. It's good. Okay. Just push off. I am almost floating. Okay, there we go. A boat went by right as I was. Pushing my scooting myself in. Ah, oh, looks nice. Let me show you around. Okay, here we are. This is a lake in northern Idaho. Not necessarily announcing where it is because I don't necessarily need people knowing where I live yet. But I'm not hard to find out. Beautiful trees. Sunset's gonna be happening behind me. Let's paddle out some, shall we? Okay, got you all set up there on the camera hookup. Put the sunset behind us and paddle on a little bit. Ooh. Probably a lot better when I'm not ruining the focus. <laughs> but the water is super clear and I need to get my fishing pole, fishing lures. I've not ever been big into fishing, um, but it would be nice to sit here on a kayak on glassy water like it is and cast a few cast a few casts for sure get some bass i think would be the best fish in here but i don't know tire it out one day oh it's just gonna be a little paddle i just want to explore the lake a little bit i have floated on the lake with some tubes before over uh, that direction um and it was nice, but it's a little chilly right now. Feels nice though. So let's keep paddling that direction. these cool waves. I don't know if I can catch it on camera as cool as... Whoa! So pretty. It's so much prettier in person than it is on camera. It's just like smoothest, shiniest thing you've ever seen. That's cool.
we are about done with the adventure of today. <coughs> Excuse me. A little air bubble popped up in my throat. I only paddled out to like, I don't know, a couple hundred yards that way. I was going to paddle that way a little bit and explore. Uh, but it's getting dark already. And I got so much more fun things I can do. So I'm going to head back and do that. But this is what the view looks like in front of me. There's the moon up yonder. And a bunch of pretty trees up there. And uh, home is in front of me. Dock is right kind of where that truck is. You probably can't see it. But I am pedaling that direction. And I'm going to load back up and do some fun things for tonight. So if you don't kayak very often, the easiest way to get out is to gain some speed and then crash into the shore, just like this. A fact about kayaking that you might want to know is if you're going to buy one. As far as I know, you can double check me on this, but the beeping. But if you buy one that's less than 10 feet long, you don't have to get a license in most states that I know of anyways. Out of probably the five states that I've kayaked in, uh, a nine and a half kayak, nine and a half foot kayak <coughs> is under the regulation link, so you don't have to get a license or sticker for it. So if you're looking for one, keep that in mind. Now the longer kayak you have, the easier it tracks straight. Well, for the most part, plug you in here. And then um, the shorter it is, the easier it is to turn. Uh, this one doesn't have any storage compartments, but it's fairly comfy. I could do it with a little taller seat, but make sure you get a kayak that's good for your size. And then one that uh, get paddles that will fit your length too. They come in centimeters and I think mine's like 165 centimeters or something like that and that's appropriate for my height and arm length and such. So anyways, I'm headed back, it's getting dark. So I hope you enjoyed doing something a little random with me. It's kind of fun just to, to go out uh, and have fun. Let's see if I can get some more light over here. Campfire. Uh, but I am headed back, so thanks for watching. We'll catch you later.